Hey everyone, I'm Remy Metaillé, I'm a professional mountain biker and following your request, today I'm gonna give you a tour of my home. Let's go! Let's start this video with the most important part of a home. It's not the kitchen though, it's a garage. Welcome to the garage. Before I show you in details the garage and the inside of the house, of course I do have an alarm system, I have cameras, and I have great neighbors that are aware of when I'm home, when I'm away. When I'm away, I always have someone staying inside the house for his safety, everything is monitored and obviously you know with the bikes that i have uh, i like to keep the place anonymous which is why i won't be showing you the outside of the house today i bought this place about two years ago and at the time i have done a full garage tour video only issue though is i had just got the keys and i didn't have much experience living and working here so even though there was a garage video i was not exactly happy with it because since I've spent countless of hours here and I've made a lot of changes which I think are very very beneficial to the way this garage works. I've got new storage for my equipment, even a gym that we're gonna see and I think it's much better right now so let's take a look. Since I'm a professional mountain biker the way I store my bikes is extremely important. It's a two-car garage but as you can see there's a lot of stuff and I need space to work on my bikes. So you can check out the other video. I've installed some steady racks on the wall because I have seven, eight, or maybe nine bikes. And it's really important for me to keep as much space as possible while keeping the bike safe. So I simply can push the bike like this, pull on the bike I want to use, work on it, ride it, and then pull it back. Another change that I've done is how I store my tires. I ride for Maxxis tires and the way the product is packaged, you can see very well the size, the rubber, the model, the casing. And when I work on my bike myself in order to be more efficient, but also if I have a mechanic, it's basically stored just like on a bike shop. So that makes it very easy for anyone to pick up the right tire to maintain the bikes or just simply build a new bike. I've got some spare wheels right there. On top here, we've got some storage with my brakes, my handlebar stem, any parts that I use. On the back here, we have, I believe I had it at the time, it's a shelf where I use, it's all my uh, maintenance product, so WD-40 chain lube, um, degreaser, bike wash, grease, etc. On the back right here, so I've got that system with a bunch of 2x4 that goes all the way across the garage with some screws. I've got some pedals, some chains, some valves, all the stuff that you need to access uh, easily. Seat, grips, disc, STFU. And right here, um, the workbench and some more tools. Same, uh, they are very accessible, so anyone that uses the garage can find the tool very easily. Obviously, I've got some more tools in those drawers, some more small parts such as bushings, volume spacer for the shock, um, chains, disc, brake adapters, you name it. Behind me, we got some more hooks with all my moto helmets, all my camel bags, and right here, the Cyrus bike rack I use. This is the MHS. Normally, it's on the back of my truck, but since the winter has been really rough here and I knew I was not gonna ride, I took it off the car just to uh, expand his longevity. The garage is where I store the bikes, I work on them, but it's also where I work on my body, which brings me to the sponsor of this video, Athletic Greens. I contacted Athletic Greens a little bit ago. They sent me some product to try, and I've really enjoyed using it. So Athletic Greens is one product that contains 75 vitamins, minerals, probiotics. All you do is you mix it with water and you drink it in the morning on an empty stomach before your coffee, your tea, or simply your breakfast and that basically replaces 
your normal vitamin supplements that you use, improves your digestion and even your energy levels. And it's very easy, convenient to use. They even have some individual packs. So if you are traveling, like what I'm going to be doing this coming month, that makes it very easy. I leave the Athletic Greens website in the description. So go and check it out. Back to the video. This is my TRX. I got it quite a few years ago and it's awesome to warm up. You can do push-ups, pull-ups, core, um, even one leg squat, jump squat. I really find it very, very useful for uh, doing any kind of exercises that get you fit and strong for mountain biking, but also skiing, moto, or any impact sport. This now is my squat rack and I'm actually super proud of it because I've made it from scratch, didn't watch any videos, winged it and it worked really well first try. It's a one size fit all and kind of the story behind it is I wanted to buy a squat rack but they are really expensive and you know I didn't know how much I was gonna use it and when I bought this house you had a wall to separate the two parts of the garage and I asked the previous owner if he could take down the wall which he did and he left me all those two by fours and I thought Maybe I could be uh, a squat rack out of it. So here we are. It works really well. It's actually very solid. It holds way more weight than I can lift. There's also a safety bar right here if the bar was ever to fall down. And I could use that for potentially a bench press if I was to put a bench. I've got a pull up bars that I can use for muscle up and also to store that stand up paddle. It's a red paddle and I bought it on backcountry which is becoming um, one of my main sponsors along the side with prop and bikes. I use some more wood to build this storage. So I've got all my uh, bike gear, especially for winter. So my Sky Pilot jacket from Seven Mesh, my Thunder pants. When it's wet, muddy, that way it stays in the garage, never enters the house unless I wash it. Um, some of my protection, some of my certain wheels, Couple of spare rims, my travel bag that I'm gonna be using very soon to go to Mexico to throw at Fiesta. Some more 2x4, as you can tell. I really love those 2x4 because you can do so much stuff with it and it's pretty uh, inexpensive. All my specialized helmets, I've got my physics shoes and my Jules glasses right here, my camel bag. Everything is very easy access, very easy to organize. And Right here, some more storage uh, above the bench, but since last time I did have a couple of old frames uh, that I'll be using at some point, but for now, I thought they'll make a nice decoration. I've got my rompage plate from 2018, and that's about it. Let's uh, take a look to uh, the fun stuff now, the motos. As you know, I ride a lot of moto. I really enjoy it, but it's also very complimentary for mountain biking. It gets you strong and fit. This is my enduro bike, that's a Husqvarna T250i 2022. I uh, bought it last year and I really enjoy it. This one is a TRS Raga Edition 280cc and just like BMX is very helpful for mountain biking, Trials Moto is very helpful for enduro moto, it teaches you really great skills and both toys are really, really fun to own, especially here in Squamish. Here's my ski rack. It's not the best system since the ski touches the ground and if there is snow that melts, eventually some people mentioned that it could damage the ski. So what I do is I dry the skis before putting it inside the garage, but I will be improving that system soon. So those are my new skis actually. They are the Atomic Bench Shutter 110 and the 120. The 110's got the STH banding, whereas the 120's got the shift banding. So far, I've only used the 110 and it's been a ton of fun, but can't wait to get some actual good snow in Whistler so I can ski the 120. Between the garage and the house, we've got the mudroom that is obviously used for storage. I've got more helmets, goggles, glasses, protection, and obviously shoes. I am now in the entrance of the house. As you can see, there is a lot of plants. I have about 40 of them inside the entire house, which is a lot of work, a lot of watering, but it's also, I find, really nice. And you will see on the wall, I have a bunch of resin art. This is from an artist called Lauren Jane Perkins. She's actually my ex-girlfriend, and I absolutely love what she's done. 
It's called resin painting or resin art or free art. And she's got a bunch of pieces like that for sale. I'm gonna put her Instagram handle in the description. And right here, this is a photo from uh, the Blackcomb Glacier. Uh, it's called the Ice Cave. It's from my friend Johan Bardi, which most likely you know from mountain biking. This is my office. I actually spend a lot of time here. So for me, it definitely has to be one of the most important rooms inside this house. Here I've got obviously my desk. I've got now um, a desktop computer, which made my work way more efficient. It is faster, there's more storage. And obviously I still own a laptop for when I travel, but having the desktop has made me more efficient at work. On the back, I've got all the storage for my media kit. Creating YouTube video, obviously I use a lot of uh, video material, but all I own these days are GoPros. I've got my GoPro Max right here, which I use the most for social media. It's been really fun using it. And I've got the Aero 11 Black, which is awesome for YouTube as well as social media. I've got all the mounts I need, um, all the patches, all the batteries, all the SD card, and that's you know really where I keep all my stuff here. I have a few souvenirs as well. This is my Red Bull Rampage 2015 hat. That was my first ever Red Bull Rampage. It was for the 10th edition and I actually finished 10th that year. I've got the 2016 edition here, an olive tree because that's a good reminder from where I'm from, south of France, where there's plenty of olive trees. I've got a couple of posters around, obviously, uh, remind bike riding. And this for me was a really cool remember. It's a picture from 2016 from Jack Dyson during uh, the North Face ad. Uh, it was for the longest time of the year. And I actually jumped that river gap, which was in Squamish about 25 times between 8 a.m. and 7 p.m. Having the timing key with the two kayak guy at the bottom was absolutely crucial. And that was a really good time. And I'm stuck to have it print here on the, on the canvas. Let me now take you to the media room. So the media room is the place where obviously I watch TV, but also where I chill. And we've got that picture. It's from Margus Riga at Rampage 2015. Margus has to be one of my favorite photographers. And this was the famous Canyon Gap. I think it was measured at 26 or 28 meters. I'd finished 10th at the event. And, you know, basically this right there was a turning point for my career, like a super special moment. Uh, so pretty stoked to have that photo here. TV, uh, I don't own a TV inside the living room, so when I just want to watch a movie, that's where I go. Um, I painted the wall black behind just to give that uh, cinema effect. It's actually carbon gray, if I'm correct. We've got some more art here. This is the half bathroom and some more paintings. Those are 24 by 24 inches. They are matching, as you can see, I really like the blue. The one on the entrance was 36 by 36 inches. And behind me, the living area with the kitchen. This is the kitchen, one of my favorite parts of this house because I love cooking, I love eating, but also I love receiving my friends. And on this island, you can sit comfortably six people. There's plenty of storage, so it's fairly easy to keep the house clean and organized. More seating options there with uh, the table. It's a live edge table. It's completely cracked in the middle, but uh, it will do for now. I've got that L-shaped couch that's been super stocked on. It's really comfortable. And I've got that gas fire pit. And one of the things that I really love about this place is that even though it's over 3,600 square feet, it's very, very uh, energy efficient. It's actually cheaper for me to hit this place than it was at my previous place, even though it was uh, more than two times smaller. So that's been really good. We've got a ton more plants, super healthy bird of paradise, some aloe vera, more plants here. And this has to be my favorite painting. It's a 24 by 48 inches. So because it's so much bigger than the other one, it made the process so much more complicated and you are so much more likely to make a mistake while painting it. Okay, let's go upstairs now. So 
So this is the landing area. I guess it's, it was designed as a playroom for kids, but it's a place that I actually use. I stretch, I do some uh, plank and core work right here. Uh, I've got those wooden blocks just to help me since I don't have the best mobility. That's a good way for me to uh, progress and be able to do new type of handstands that I would not be able to do otherwise if I wasn't using uh, the plank or the dumbbell. I've got this chair where it's actually super comfortable. Uh, I use it, I pass a bunch of phone calls on it. And on the back, I painted this wall the same color uh, than I did behind the TV. And I've got three pictures from my friend, two of Dylan Wolski, so the two uh, outside one. This one is a single track in Squamish. Uh, this is around Tofino, and this one is from Johan Bailey. Uh, it's one of the mountains behind Whistler. I believe this room was designed as a kid's room uh, because you could put two queen-size mattress on top and watch TV on the wall behind me, but I turned it into a little gym room, especially for winter, because it can get so cold in Squamish that doing squats and deadlifts in the garage can be challenging. So I've just got like very simple equipment. I've got a barbell, so that's an Olympic barbell. Uh, small weights, so I can work on doing easy deadlift or front squats, even back squats, uh, shoulder press, and basically basic uh, workout. Also have a sand ball to do uh, Russian twists and any type of core. Even an elastic band for shoulder mobility, ankle mobility. And it's a room that I try to use every single day for at least 30 minutes. Um, I stretch on it, I try to relax, and it's mostly to prevent injuries. On the landing area, I also have a road bike mounted on my size trainer. The winter in Squamish can be really long, really rough with lots of rain, cold temperature. So to maintain good cardio fitness, this is a really nice tool to have. And I've also got uh, my surfboard. So this is a Lost, I think it's called the Puddle Jumper. I purchased it on backcountry.com. There is a link in the description. This is a 5 feet 9, 37 liter and I've used it once in Tofino. It was really fun. And come and check out the guest room. There is some more surf equipment. And working with Backcountry was pretty cool because I got to buy this surf bike since tomorrow I'm heading on a surf trip in San Diego. So hopefully I'll catch some waves. The bathroom for the guest room. We've got some storage here for towels, walking closet, Master bathroom with a wet room, um, shower, bath, and the master bedroom with a ton of plants and some more surfboard. I'll actually take this one to my trip to San Diego as well. This is my garden. It's not really big, but it does the job. I grow some veggies in the summer behind. Uh, tomato, lettuce, zucchini, cauliflower, basil, rosemary, thyme. Um, Right here is a spot where I spend a lot of time when it's really hot outside. I've got the Trigger Grill Ironwood 885 and it's been awesome for cooking, also make great pizza. Gas fire pits, that's more for decorations than anything. And behind me is a spa. When I bought this place, it only had the hot tub. I was never a big hot tub guy, but I ended up using it a ton. And it had a lot of space, so I decided to add a sauna. This is from Nutka Sauna. It's actually a Squamish company, and I've been using it a lot. I got it two or three months ago. I use it probably three or four times a week, and the hot tub three or four times a week. And I also got the cold plunge, but it got really cold the last few days. So now there is ice on it, but let's see if I can uh, make it work. Yeah, there is a good, uh, a good 25 centimeter of ice, so not for tonight. Thanks a lot for watching this house tour. Big shout out to Athletic Greens for sponsoring the video. I've really enjoyed using their product and I encourage you to check out their website. Check out the link in the description. See you next week.